Welcome. This is a quick video on the best practices to follow when using Keyboarding Without Tears at home. Keyboarding Without Tears is a grade level specific curriculum for grades kindergarten through fifth grade. This program includes activities such as matching, unilateral hand and finger skills. This is just a fancy way of saying we use one hand before we expect children to use both hands on the keyboard. There are also cross-curricular connections. These will connect with other subject areas that are grade level appropriate. There's also rhyming, as you can see here, with this finger key association activity in the activity called Rhyme Card. There are many other engaging activities throughout the student program that will keep your child's attention. As your child is beginning an activity, they will notice icons on the right-hand side of the screen. Let me explain them to you. First, let's discuss the green video player icon. This icon represents a how-to video instructions of the activity the child is getting ready to do. If the child is participating in the activity for the first time, the video with instructions will automatically play. If the child has completed this activity prior in their student program, then they can click on the green video player icon to rewatch. These videos are short and provide instructions on how to complete the activity. Next is the trophy icon. The trophy icon represents the progress path of the student program. This progress path is a fun, playful way to see how far along the child is in the program. There are 36 weeks of this keyboarding curriculum. Each square represents one week of activities. Once the week is complete, the black and white box becomes color and either a medal, ribbon, plaque, or trophy will appear, indicating the child has completed that week. The bullseye represents spot checks. Spot checks are pre-programmed activities to check speed and accuracy. Once a child has participated in a spot check, the black and white circle becomes red and white and an arrow goes through this bullseye. Next, let's take a look at the icon at the top of the screen. This is the four arrows that you see here. This is to put the program in full screen. Please do this prior to your child participating in the activities. This will help the child see all the instructions on the screen as they engage in the program. One other reminder is to make sure your caps lock is not on when your child is completing the activities in the program. Also, remember when your child is, is working on the activities, remind them to keep their fingers on the home row. The developmental progression of keyboarding without tears will help children to keep their fingers on the home row. The developmental teaching order will begin with lessons focusing on the home row and then building from there. Another important feature of keyboarding without tears is the dynamic keyboard and cursor. The dynamic keyboard, which you see on the left side of this slide, will appear on the screen indicating which row or rows the child is working on at that time. Therefore, we've broken the keyboard into six row-based units, making it easier for children to understand the finger key associations. The dynamic cursor will appear to show which key to strike in the color that is represented by rows. If the child strikes incorrectly, the color will turn red and provide a different audio feedback, letting the child know that it is incorrect. Keyboarding Without Tears works on laptops, desktops, and iPads. Make sure when you are using an iPad that the child's hands are hovering over the keyboard as they strike the keys. As your child is participating in Keyboarding Without Tears, make sure they are demonstrating good posture with their feet on the floor and their hands at a comfortable resting position on the keyboard. Keyboarding Without Tears is flexible, so the child can work on keyboarding 5 to 10 minutes a day or 30 to 45 minutes at one setting. That works too. This is a 36-week curriculum, so there are lots of engaging activities for your child to participate in. 
For more help helpful resources, visit lwtiers.com forward slash programs forward slash distance learning. If you need some help, we encourage you to call customer care at 888-983-8409 or email us at technology at lwtiers.com. Thank you.